If you know me, you know that I love fuzz pedals. They're pretty simple, but they're seemingly quite difficult to find ones that sound right. I use and have used other fuzz pedals before, like my Fuzz Factory, my Big Muff, which I've now since donated to Lowe, and replaced that with my MXR Brown Acid. But they don't sound quite like the Super Unpleasant Companion. Its distinctive sound separates it from literally every other fuzz pedal I've ever played before. <laughs> So I came across the pedal quite by accident. I was at the 2022 guitar show in Birmingham, wandering around all the booths with a view to just play guitars and pedals just for fun and pretty much nothing else. I made my way to the Frederick stall and got talking to the people on the table and said I love fuzz pedals and wanted to experience something that had a really distinctive sound. All the while thinking I'd play a few things and then just get some footage and then carry on with my day. So I plug in a guitar and put some headphones on and there's no other way to articulate it than just hearing the most chewiest fuzz sand I've ever heard before. I couldn't quite believe it so I grabbed my friend who's with me at the time, um, stick the headphones on him and just play random stuff and just his face said it all. It was just this kind of monstrous kind of sound that hit neither of us had ever heard from a guitar before and we just couldn't believe it. It was quite a lot to kind of get to grips with at first because it was two pedals in one that have two very distinct sounds from each other but after a little while you can kind of zero in and kind of what to expect from it. Obviously with it being a fuzz pedal chords just weren't working with it so I was going through my head as fast as I could to pick out single string riffs that I could play to kind of keep up with the pedal and get the most out of it as best I could. I had the owner of the company stood next to me the whole time giving me all sorts of details about the pedal, the history of the brand, and then moving on to something about communism and transistors and then bringing them into the USSR. <laughs> it was a whole thing. But to go back to the pedal for a moment, uh, some of the finer details were quite difficult to pick out because I was in a noisy venue hall, but that core sound that I just couldn't ignore was just absolutely blowing me away and I just had to get this pedal. <laughs> So the Super Unpleasant Companion is a combination of two pedals, the first being the Shinny FY2 Companion Fuzz and the second being the FY6 Super Fuzz Clone. It has top mounted jacks along with the power supply input with the controls on the front of the pedal. The controls being the expander which is more or less like your sustain control for a big muff if that helps. The balance control which controls the level. The mode switch which flips between the FY2 or 6. And then your tone control in position 1 has a mid focus and position 2 has a more scooped doomy type sound. The FY2 circuit produces that chewy type sound that drew me in from the very beginning and to me that's kind of what a fuzz pedal should sound like or at least that's what I think in my head. It's brutal and it sounds like it's constantly on the verge of breaking up and just like any other fuzz pedal 
chords just don't work with it and even power chords struggle to come through often so you're best sticking off with just single string riffs. So jazz musicians or really anyone who likes to play chords with numbers in them, this pedal really isn't for you. It might sound bad describing it like that but with music I like to play and write it's perfect to bring out those single string riffs and give it its own character that's just like no other fuzz pedal I've ever heard. For all of you Sustainiac pickup enthusiasts out there, sadly the FY2 circuit does negate or disable the pickup circuit so if you ever wanted to get this pedal you might just want to keep that in mind. On tone setting one that more mid-range focus is really good for when you want your guitar to be the main focus in the mix. Tone setting two has a more scoop sound so you can experiment with that as you want to. It's very different from setting one so playing around with it will kind of yield different types of results whether you want to use it for still kind of front and center sounds in a mix or something that's more used in a rhythm setting it's completely up to you. The idea of having a tone switch that's binary between this or that is new to me. I've never had a pedal that works like that before in, in regards to a tone setting so it's different and it's worth experimenting with it's you can think of it as quite limiting because it's literally this or that it does force you to use the pedal in a slightly different way than you would otherwise because it's so binary so for example like rolling the level off on your guitar is a way to kind of play around with it but it's still a really good experimental platform because that sound is just so distinct and I've never heard anything quite like it before so it's worth experimenting with. The FY6 circuit has an octave sound to it that brings out a lot more of the high end of your notes. You get a lot more definition out of it than you do from the FY2 circuit and that octave sound allows for even more clarity the higher up the neck you go. However I would say that the octave effect can be a bit of a double-edged sword as it's quite easy to get a little bit too much noise out of it overall so so keeping an eye on the expander control is worth doing. And for the Sustainiac pickup enthusiasts, don't worry, the FY6 circuit does work with those pickups. So the Super Unpleasant Companion, it's a very interesting pedal, it sounds great and it sounds nothing like I'd ever played before. It can be a little bit tricky to kind of get to know and figure out how to use, especially if you're playing a guitar part on it that you've not got the pedal in mind for. The track I played at the beginning of this video, I wrote with this pedal specifically in mind so I could play to its strengths as best I could, which brings me on to its weaknesses. Just like any other fuzz that I've played at least, it does not work well with chords and more so particularly with this pedal, especially in the FY2 circuit position because it's just sounding so broken and really on the edge of it, just absolutely breaking. Single string riffs are pretty much just the way to go with it. It's a lot more forgiving on the FY6 circuit which is useful because this is essentially two pedals and one. It does have a lot of high-end ring to it which can be good to bring a guitar part out in the mix a bit better but it can be a bit too much and overpowering sometimes so just EQing that out would be beneficial overall. But fundamentally as a fuzz pedal I think it's great. It's got this really distinctive sound that works really well to bring out as much as you possibly can from your single string riffs. Because it's basically two pedals in one it's going to have at least one sound in it that that's going to really work for when you need a really big sound. It might just need a bit of time from you to figure out just how to use that sound and really what to expect from it when you're playing around with it. It's a great boutique pedal that doesn't sound like any other fuzz pedal that I'd ever used before. So thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.